time, position, velocity. Here we have a graph which is a displacement graph which shows you change in position with time. Now you are supposed to answer these questions. Part A of the question is describe the graph and part B is how is the direction in which Sam is traveling represented on the graph. Now in the graph we have shown on the x-axis the horizontal x-axis independent variable time in minutes. Each division is 4 minutes, right? So it's 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on. On the vertical axis we have shown distance and distance is in meters. Each division is 100 meters. Here as you key, can see when So when I say, so when I say describe the graph, then I'd like you to write down a story. And story could be linked to what's written here, Sam walking towards his house. So <clears throat> that is kind of the base of the story which you can use and elaborate, right? You can change this title and write something on your own also, right? So let's go with Sam at present. Sam walking towards his house. Now as you can see when time is zero that means initial time the starting point here is 500 meters away. So the starting point is when time is zero distance of Sam is 500 meters and if we assume that Sam is walking towards his house that means that Sam is 500 meters away from his house to start with. Now at the end of this line when time is 40 at that time distance of Sam from the house is zero. It means Sam has reached the house. Correct? So this story could start with that Sam starts walking towards the house. He is at present 500 meters away. Right? and takes 40 minutes to reach the house. So that you could read from the graph itself. You can also calculate some more things. For example, speed, right? With what speed is Sam walking towards his house? Try to calculate that. As we saw in the earlier videos, speed is given as change in distance over change in time. Okay. So here the average speed will be when we say average speed then total trip took how much time? 40 minutes. And how much distance was covered in it? 500 meters, correct? So we can say average speed for Sam in this particular case is total distance of 500 meters, right? This is 500 meters over 0 to 40, 40 minutes. So if you divide 500 by 40, you get 4 goes in 5 one time. Then you get 10, 2 times is 8, 20, 12.5 meters per minute, right? So, if you calculate the average speed, then your story could be that Sam started walking towards the house at an average speed of 12.5 meters per minute. He was 500 meters away from the house and he covered the total distance in 40 minutes. So that is also a story which has got more depth in it, right? More material. So it earns you extra marks. So it is very important to write a story <coughs> mentioning most of the things given here, right? In the graph. 
So try to pull out most of the information from the graph and mention in your story, right? Now, let's go to part B. How is the direction in which Sam is traveling represented on the graph? Now you can see, as time goes by, 0, 4, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, distance is decreasing from 500, 400, 200 to 0, right? So as independent variable time increases, distance, the dependent variable decreases. Do you see that? So we can say that the direction is towards the house, right? So if your line is sloping downwards, then the object is approaching, right? So that is what you can say. So direction in Sam's traveling is represented on the graph by a slanting line going downwards, right? So downwards represents approaching. That means in this particular case, you are coming closer and closer to the house as time goes by, right? That is what this negative slope gives you. Now, I mentioned negative slope. Uh, how do we get negative slope? Let's calculate that out now, right? To find slope from a line, as you know, slope is rise over run, right? So, let's consider any two points. Okay, so we'll consider, let's say, the starting point. Let, let me call this A. And a point here, a close by. Let's call this B, right? Now, what is the position of A? The position of A, when I say position, you have to mention, in this case, along the horizontal axis, we have time. And along the vertical axis, we have distance. So position of A is... 0 for time and 500 for distance, right? So let me write this point A as 0, comma, 500. And what is the position for B? For B, time is 8. So 8, comma, 400. Now, we will say speed between A and B. So I'll use another variable which is called velocity. Velocity gives you both speed and direction, right? Speed is only magnitude. Change in distance over change in time, right? Where both are taken as positive. But in velocity, one could be negative, right? Let's see how, right? So we'll call it V for velocity and between A and B. So I'm writing small subscript capital AB, right? So from A to B, the velocity is change in distance. So change in distance, you will find difference of distance, right? The second coordinate here mentions distance. The first is time, right? So 400 minus 500. 400 minus 500 divided by 8 minus 0, right? It is important to note that order should be maintained, right? If I write 400 minus 500, I have to write 8 minus 0, right? Sometimes you can also write 500 minus 400. In that case, it would be 500 minus 400 divided by 0 minus 8, right? But it's always better to take the later point first, an initial point later, correct? So it is from here to there. So the distance will be that minus this, correct? So in this case, we will use 400 minus 500 divided by 8 minus 0. So 400 minus 500 is 100. So it is 100 divided by 8. And 100 divided by 8 is 12.5 meters per minute, right? You will see this is minus 100 because 400 minus 500 is a negative thing, right? It's not plus 100. Since this is negative, minus 100 divided by 8 will also be negative. So we get negative 12.5. Okay. If you compare it with average speed, average speed was calculated as positive. Do you see? We were talking about speed. So we were only considering the difference, right? 
we were not considering the order right here it was just a difference change but here order is important so as you see velocity is negative a negative velocity here represents a negative slope so the line is steadily or it's a straight line going downwards so whenever there is a line going downwards we get negative slope right and also it represents negative velocity now how about if would have considered some other point let me consider this point C right now what are the coordinates of point C position of C can be written as 24 along the horizontal so you always see the horizontal first 24 and along the vertical it is 200 now velocity from A to C will be we can also calculate B to C so let me calculate this time velocity from B to C right so from B to C, B is 8, 400, and C is 24, 200. So we'll do difference in vertical, that means 200 minus 400. So we'll write 200 minus 400 divided by 24 minus 8. 24 minus 8, right? So 200 minus 400 will give you minus 400, right? And 24 minus 8 gives you 16. Now if you divide 400 by 16 using calculator you will find this minus and you again get 12.5 meters per minute. Negative. So negative velocity means that the slope is negative and the line is moving downwards. Important thing to see here is it doesn't matter which two points you take. If it is a straight line, you will always get the same slope, thereby the same velocity. Right? So if I take point D, for example, which is 40 for time and 0 right, for distance, in that case, also I will get the same result. So you can check with any different point. right? So we'll, we took A and D earlier, right? If you maintain the order, that is, if you write 0 minus 500, this would be minus, correct? Divide by 40 minus 0 will be plus. So minus 500 divided by 40 will give you minus 12.5. Remember, this was speed. So if we are talking about slope, the slope is rise over run, correct? And the order should be maintained. Y2 minus Y1. Divide by x2 minus x1. So let me remind you here, slope is, as you know, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So the order should be maintained, right? If you maintain the order, find the slope, you will get negative slope for a line going downwards, which signify negative velocity, right? And if the distances are positive, then it is Negative velocity means distance is decreasing or the object is approaching, right? So, so that is what is shown here, right? So you could write your story as Sam starts walking towards the house at an average speed of 12.5 meters per minute. He is 500 meters away from this at the beginning when he starts his walk and he reaches his house in 40 minutes. During this time, his velocity is negative 12.5 meters per minute. Negative signifies that Sam is approaching his house and a constant velocity all along is a steady rate at which Sam is walking towards his house, correct? So these are additional informations which you could add to your description of the graph. That will give you some more bonus points. Thank you and I hope you understand that a time position graph gives you a lot of information. It gives you position at every instance of time. right? So you can read both time and distance from it. And if you find the quotient of difference of distance divided by difference of time, then you get average speed during that part right average speed can be also calculated by calculating total distance covered 
over total duration of time. That gives you average speed of the whole journey, right? And in different legs, you can find the velocity, which is the slope of the line of that leg. A negative velocity shows that the line is moving downwards, right? If the distance is positive and the velocity is negative, then the object is approaching, right? That is kind of very important conclusion which we make from this particular video. Thank you and all the best.